Well, the Miami Heat gave us a scare. That's for sure. I think all of us thought for a little bit, oh my god, the Miami Heat might actually lose this series. But to start this game off, basically, pretty quickly out of the gates, the Miami Heat were like, okay, we are not going to be that team. That team that everyone talks about for the end of time, where they say, well, no one's come back from down 0-3, except for when the Miami Heat blew that one lead they had. They weren't going to be that team. They definitely were not taking that, and specifically this man on the screen right here, Caleb Martin, was not taking none of that. Though he did not get the MVP award for this series, he was one vote away from getting it. Out of the nine people that voted, he able was able to get four votes. The other five went to Jimmy Butler, who ended up winning that MVP award. Uh, Martin had 26, 10, and 3, as, as well as a steal tonight. And Jimmy Butler had 28 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, and 3 steals. So overall, for the night, better numbers for Jimmy Butler. But Caleb Martin had a massive impact on this game. He shot 11 for 16 and 4 for 6 from 3. So he played amazing. Out of bio, nearly had a triple-double. He had 12 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. And other than that, like Duncan Robinson had 10 points, Gabe Vincent had 10, Max Struess had 8, Kyle Lowry had 7. Like, it was actually one of the more top-heavy performances for the Miami Heat, which is not very common for them. And then for the Boston Celtics, nobody scored 20. Jalen Brown had 19 points, but he had a really bad game. Jason Tatum had 14 and 11. Yikes. And Derek White was their leading scorer. Or, excuse me, he was he was one point away. He had 18, so Jalen Brown is their leading scorer, but I believe that he had awful splits. Let me make sure that I'm being correct about that. Yeah, he was 8 for 23 from the field, so that's 34% from the field. 1 for 9 from 3. Jason Tatum was 1 for 4. Derek White was 2 for 9. Like, it was just not the Celtics' night. I think pretty early on we were like, okay, like, this is not the Celtics' night. The Miami Heat are going to win this game. Um, it, it just kind of felt like that was going to be how things went for most of the night. The field goal percentage for the Boston Celtics was 39% overall for the whole team and 21% from three. So that about tells you everything you need to know. The Heat shot 50%, which really good, and 48.8% from the field. So they shot better from three than they did from the field overall, which doesn't sound like it should even be able to happen, but it ended up happening so um good overall game for uh, excuse my yawn apologize for the Miami Heat that's just what the Boston Celtics did to me tonight they made me tired they really did I was, was like okay there's three minutes left this game's over and I think just about everyone had already been like wow the Miami Heat actually won this before the game was actually even over because this game it felt like, okay, the Celtics have so much momentum, plus it's a Game 7 when they're probably the better team at home. I would say it was almost a fact that Boston Celtics team is just better than this Miami Heat team. But the Miami Heat just absolutely outplayed them. Absolutely outworked them. Just played a better series overall. Now I know they went up 3-0 quick and then they lost 3 in a row, but they still ended up winning the series, and I would say... The three that Miami won were more impressive and better than the three that Boston won. So I don't think that those three games were equal, especially the one that sent it to Game 7 when Derek White tapped it in with point one left. And it's like, okay, like, if he doesn't get that tap off in time, like, we're not even watching this game. We're not even talking about this today because the Miami Heat are already in the finals. But now... We're going to see the Miami Heat play the Denver Nuggets in the finals. And it's going to be on Thursday, so we got a little bit of a break. And I am... I'm stuck. I think I have to go Denver Nuggets. I do. I think I'm going to go Denver Nuggets. Mm. I think they could win in five. But I think I'm going to say six. Six is always the safe answer. You can always be like, oh, they're going to win it in six. And... It's just the safe answer. So I'm going to say Nuggets in six, but it's closer to five than seven, if that makes sense. So, like, in this case, 
I guess this might not be the best, best example, but in this case, the Heat were closer to winning in sixth than they were to if there was an eighth game than to going to an eighth game, if that makes sense. So, like, for another example, in the 2017 finals when the Warriors beat the Cavs in five, that series was closer to being a four-game series than it was to a six-game series, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm saying that it's going to be closer to five than six. Denver Nuggets are going to win that series against the Miami Heat. I am rooting for the Miami Heat, so don't think that I am a hater. I'm just trying to make my unbiased educated guess on who's going to win that series and my educated guess tells me the Denver Nuggets are going to win in six I think that the Miami Heat just are not going to be able to keep doing what they've been doing which is rely on literally everyone to have a pretty solid game I think that they rely on everyone to just be able to put up 10 points and it has been working for them but I don't think that we could see Jimmy Butler put the team on his back as much as he did in the previous series because in this series we saw the Celtics shut down Jimmy Butler for multiple possessions and games at a time. He just didn't feel as impactful as he had been when he scored however many points it was, 45 points or whatever it was, like when he had that one really big game against, I think it was against the Milwaukee Bucks pretty early on in the playoffs. And also, Bam and Abayo is a good defender, don't get me wrong, but who's guarding Nikola Jokic? Or slowing him down, I guess you could say, because no one's guarding Nikola Jokic in the league. But who is even slowing that man down? Who's guarding Jamal Murray? It's probably Jimmy Butler. I mean, it's definitely Jimmy Butler. And I think Jimmy Butler is probably going to do just about as good a job as anyone. But, and I guess Jamal Murray is not going to do that good of a job defending him. I guess they're probably going to put KCP on Jimmy Butler. I'm sticking to my pick. I'm sticking to my pick. I think Nuggets and Six... I just think they're a better team, and watching them play the Lakers for four straight games, beat down on them, I think that Nuggets team is extremely good. Way better than any of us have thought. Michael Porter Jr. is going to be a big factor in this series because he shoots it whenever he touches it, and if those shots aren't falling, that the Miami Heat are, if anyone, going to take advantage of that, and so I could see the Heat taking advantage of Porter Jr. I really think that they're probably going to... Be like, all right, you get the ball, shoot it. Please just shoot it because if he's cold, he's going to be cold. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on this. Great game, Caleb Martin. I think that there's a very good argument that he won. He could have won that MVP. Um, I want to know if you guys think he should have won it. Let me know who you think is going to win the NBA Finals. Again, apologize for the yawn. Celtics just did not put up much of a fight in this game. So, yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, though, subscribe, turn notification bells all. See you guys later in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and peace. Subscribe. Boy, like the video.